All right, so now I'm going to uh, show you a, a video, make a video uh, where we are going to save some data. And that's all we're going to do today is just save some data. And then in the next video, uh, we are going to uh, clean the data. So I'm going to save it and then retrieve it. And then once we retrieve it, uh, we're going to save it. However, I'm not going to clean it today. We'll simply just save it. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put on my uh, Muse device, and as you can see, uh, Mind Monitor is running, but there's no Muse yet uh, because I haven't put it on yet or turned it on yet. By the way, uh, uh, I uh, understand that uh, a few of you who, who use uh, uh, Apple Macs, uh, that there's no um, neurovisual for Macs. So... Uh, it's that's okay. I mean, it, it'd be good if you if you use it. If you have it, uh, we can do some other things with it. But it isn't necessary. The main thing that we need uh, is uh, uh, mind uh, mind monitor itself, and of course the uh, Muse headband. So I'm I'm going to do uh, uh, the demonstration simply using uh, a mind monitor uh, today, and uh, then at some other time uh, we will. Uh, uh, use uh, neurovisual for some other things, but I'm, I, I don't want to exclude people who, who don't uh, who don't have it, who have the, have Macs uh, and not PCs or any other uh, uh, non-Apple driven device. So uh, let's let's do this, and I'm going to uh, turn it on, and um, when you turn it on. Remember that you get this uh, little light, and, and, and it's showing that it is, in fact, uh, uh, there. So I'm going to put this on. Take my glasses off first. Put this on again and make sure that it is uh, straight, making a good contact with my forehead and ears, back in the back of my ears. So we're still not making good contact, not until I put this uh, this on. And un unfortunately, there's, um, unless you can figure out another way to make it so that it, it works without the extra headband, please, uh, please let me know. Uh, but I think that should just about do it. I'm uh, going to put that up here, roll it up there. You know, we still don't seem to be making very good contact. Um, pull that up a bit. See how it goes. Okay, there we are. Now I'm making good contact. Okay, put my glasses back on. There we are. You, you really want to make sure that before you do this, you've really got excellent uh, contact. Because if you have spurious disconnections, uh, you're going to have a lot more data cleaning than you really want to have. But so far, so good. It looks, it looks all right. Now, what I want to do is simply stream the data. And I want to also save the data. So I'm going to go up here to my... Um, to my uh, <clears throat> phone and start streaming. So now it says it's streaming and uh, shows where it's streaming and it seems to be working just fine. Um, yeah, it's working okay. And I'm, I'm streaming that and I'm just going to stream a couple minutes of it and talk to you while I'm doing it. Uh, uh, but I before I started this uh, this video, I really didn't uh, take care to clean the contacts and maybe also moisten them a little bit and make certain that uh, it's making a good contact with my skin, uh, with my forehead, and also my uh, 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 my medial temporal lobes right behind my ear. It seems to be working okay now. And what you're looking at. Uh, what you're looking at right there is just a, a, a raw uh, a EEG, and it—it's—I—I uh, I actually like looking at that stuff. It's—it's it's 
quite uh, impressive, I think, just to, just to look at. Ah, there's, that's what my brain and the contacts are, are, are doing right there. Now, um, I am streaming. I have not yet started to record. So as I stream there, I'm, I'm, now going to start to, I'm now going to record the data as well. And to record the data, and by the way, you do not have to stream to record the data. So you've got the uh, uh, streaming button, and uh, then you've got that little red dot that you see on the, uh, uh, on the screen here on my PC. It's right there. And so now I'm going to record the data. I'm going to press that, and it says recording, Muse Monitor 2020, and the date today, which is 916, uh, and, and it is now recording. It is now streaming and recording, as you can uh, see up here. Now, again, I don't have to stream it. I don't have to stream it because it's really not going, uh, it's not going into uh, 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 neurovisual right now. I'm not using neurovisual here. Uh, and so really all I have to do is, is record the data. And you can, of course, record the data without streaming and send it right over to uh, wherever you want to send it. And I'll show you that uh, in a few minutes. So we are recording. And remember that as you are recording, you are going to get the little square there, not the, the round button. So the little square there means that you are recording. Or you can look up here on the top there, and it says Mind Monitor Streaming Recording. And... If I were to then, like, let's say, do something right now, like, like an event, uh, and eventually we're going to get into uh, uh, event uh, recording where, where you record up to a point and then you elicit or initiate an event. That event may be anything. Uh, for example, let's say you were meditating for a couple minutes as you were recording, and then you stop and you start to read. That would be the initiation uh, of a different event. Or likewise, or inversely, you could be reading and then stop and start to meditate. Or you could uh, 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 be in the dark as you're recording, and then the lights come on a couple of minutes later. Uh, we're going to do several different types of experiments like that, just really basic experiments, to see uh, what what will happen? Because remember that as you're doing this, uh, the, the device itself, that is the uh, uh, Muse device, that is the, the, which is a sensor for your electroencephalographic electroencephal waves, uh, it doesn't detect light. It simply detects the very, very tiny signals coming from your brain. Hence, if you're in the dark and you turn on the light, or you're in the light and you turn off the dark, or you do anything, it isn't the... Uh, it isn't the, the actuation itself. It is the effect that that stimulus has on you and then what your brain, how your brain reacts to that stimulus. And so we're going to try different, different little things along with some other experiments as we get further into the course. I mean, it's only September 16th right now, so we've really got quite a bit to do uh, until the end of the semester, and I still think we're going to have uh, a, a lot of fun uh, with this. I'm going to stop recording now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go into here, mind monitor, and OK, now I've stopped recording, and it tells me I've stopped recording. And now what I want to do is to save the drive. So here it says save the drive. So what I uh, uh, managed to do is uh, uh, not really manage. It's pretty easy to do it. Uh, is to save that uh, uh, file that, that I recorded. It, it went straight from my uh, uh, from my phone, from my monitor, over to my uh, Google Drive is where I sent it. Now you can send it to you know wherever you want. Uh, uh, you can store it on your phone and then retrieve it from there. Uh, uh, I just uh, sent it over to my uh, <clears throat> Google Drive because it was there and, it, and it's easy to do. So I'm not going to presume to to know what your system is. Uh, you're going to have to uh, f uh, work on that and, and figure that out yourself. But here's uh, what I did. I sent it over to uh, my Google Drive. Like I said, it goes over there as a zip file. And in fact, uh, in your settings, uh, uh, in Mind Monitor, you'll see where you can uh, uh, control that so that it does, in fact, go over there as a zip file. <clears throat> and because the, uh, uh, the zip file itself is uh, 1.2 megs or megabytes, but the actual file, which is a 
uh, at S uh, CSV file, it's a comma delimited Excel file actually, you can see that that file, the actual file there is 17.8 megabytes. So it really crunched that thing down. I'm going to extract it. And uh, uh, in extracting it, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, doing its thing now uh, in, in extracting it. <clears throat> and uh, I actually, I, I just installed this, uh, this, this app here, Zip Extractor. You can uh, uh, use that or you can do something else. Uh, but what I want to do is take that file here now and uh, there it is right there. I want to download it. And I'm going to download this now into over here. You can see now where it's downloaded. I'm going to pick it up, show it in my folder. Again, it may go someplace else on your system. You have to play with it. Uh, and I'm going to take it out of where it was because it just went into my general download folder. I don't want it there. Uh, I want it into in another, uh, uh, actually, in another drive that's much larger. Uh, this uh, little drive here it says local drive C is a uh, solid state drive. And uh, I'm just going to put it over to a uh, uh, movable drive. So uh, I'm going to cut it out here, go over here, go down to here where I do want it, and save it in in, in fact, into um, you guys. I have a special folder just for you guys. And uh, in this case, I will save this in. Uh, now, as you see here, and really what I should have had here is a, is a data folder as well. I think I'm going to put it right here instead. Um, <clears throat> well, I'll just put it here for the time being so that I can I can uh, open it up and play with it. So I'm going to put it right here, paste it. There it is. And now open it up <clears throat> so that you can see mainly what this thing looks like. It looks a mess. It is really, <laughs> it, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff there. And uh, it's going to take us a while to go, go through all of this stuff. First of all, there's the timestamp. That's something that you may or may not need. Right now, we're not going to uh, use that. I'm just going to sh show you here what the data looks like. Here's Here, as far as our purposes are concerned, here's the data we're interested in. We're interested in, here's, here's, here's all of the delta from both of the temporal lobes and the uh, frontal lobes. So there's delta, there's theta, there's alpha, there's beta, and gamma. So it goes all the way over to here. It shows all uh, the uh, points taken off from all four lobes. And uh, what I want to do now is to, uh, once I show you that, is to come back over here and sort of get rid of the stuff that I don't want, we don't want right now, or you can save it elsewhere. Like I, what I usually do uh, is take all of this stuff out, and I'm just going to cut it. And let's put it in, in, in the same Excel file, but another worksheet. So there it is. It is uh, uh, that is called News Monitor 2020-916. And uh, it, it also shows the time uh, that the data was taken. So what we've got here now is a, a, set, a, a data file, a common limited file. It isn't uh, a really a bona fide Excel file yet until we save it as such. Uh, and as you can see, remember that we remember that we do store, or that is, that we do record uh, on uh, continuous waves. So here, for the very brief time, the very, very, very brief time that uh, we were recording, we still got 45,000 lines of data. So that's a lot of data for the time that I re was recording, which was about five minutes or so. Uh, so given given that we 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 really can uh, store quite a bit, uh, and it is continuous. Now, I was just talking uh, <clears throat> also with the uh, uh, programmer, the founder, the guy that wrote um, uh, Neurovisual, and he uh, uh, w was. Uh, uh, t I was telling him about hey, you know, let, the problem with 
with continuous data is that you end up with too much. Now, there's some advantages and disadvantages that we'll talk about later. But you can see here, here's what we've done now is just separate all that out. Now, if you then, if we scroll down here and look at, now, you see that? There was a, there was a discontinuity right there. And what we're going to eventually do is, is go through here. And whenever we have just two or three or one or two or three, you can just delete them. Just go through them and delete them. But actually, uh, uh, we did a pretty good job. I was concerned that there were just uh, too many, uh, that there was too much uh, discontinuity there. But it worked out just fine. It, it, it's not bad at all. So you can see here how you can do this. And now I'm simply going to go take this, go and save as an Excel worksheet. And I'm going to go back over to, well, it's already there. So I'm just going to save it as that Excel worksheet. And there you have it. But now we've got all of the data just from that little five minutes there that, that we recorded. It's, it's it, uh, right there. And we can do some interesting things with that. that. So uh, at this point now, uh, uh, like I said, I just wanted to go over how you can uh, uh, record the data and uh, uh, then uh, upload the data to wherever you want to upload it to, uh, uh, retrieve the data, uh, unzip the data, and uh, then look at it in, in uh, Excel uh, as, an S, as a CSV file and then change it to an Excel file later. Now, <clears throat> this whole process is, a part, is going to be part of a string of things that we do uh, in any given experiment. And we'll, so you, could, you could just by looking at what I just did now, you could see that there's a lot of different variables going on. And uh, uh, we can do things once we get the hang of it, or once you get the hang of whatever experiment you're, you're going to do uh, sometime in the future uh, to streamline things a bit uh, as well. So uh, uh, here, here's this. And, and then I can just simply save it. I already saved it, in fact. And uh, there it is right there. So given that now, I think we're, um, uh, I, I'm done with this video, and I will uh, next, very, in the very near future, do this again, only this time we will take the data and do some stuff with it. We will clean it and then also put it in a way that we can uh, 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 look at it and, and analyze it, and, and I'll show you some of the various uh, methods by which we can uh, analyze the data without using any statistics or anything per se. And when we do have any statistics to do, if anybody is interested in any kind of a <clears throat> statistical analysis in whatever experiment you may do, uh, or what we do as a group, I, of course, will do the analysis with using SPSS. But you can do some <clears throat> interesting things with Excel as well, which I'll show you uh, in the not-too-distant future. So with that, I am going to bid you